Chris, I have to say, again, the festival keeps getting right. better and better. And now we have on two incredible, phenomenal filmmakers, duo. Mikey and Michelle. This is going to be fantastic, guys. Thank you so much yes. for coming to the festival. Oh, thank you so much for talking to us. Yeah, thank you so much for having us. We're so excited. This is something fantastic. This is a festival that's beyond just filmmaking. It's a cultural event. What brought you to here to this festival particularly and the project you created? Well, we've actually been to this festival before, so this is our second film here. Um, but, you know, I am Mexican and, well, Mexican-American, and this film for me is very much a representation of that and um, kind of just how I live my own daily life. So I thought it was the perfect festival for this. Yeah, and it was so great to come back to this one. We went, uh, it was 2021. Uh, last time it was a horror film. This time it's a little bit of a dance film. So we we're trying to mix it up and keep things exciting and dynamic. Yeah. So. That sounds very exciting. A dance film. That's fantastic. Yes. I'm very excited to hear more about this. I'm sure everybody else is. A, a name, bit. a title. I'm excited to hear more about what's going on, the intricacies of the film. Um, the film is called Cheer Up Baby. Uh, so, yeah, so the, the film is about a woman who's suffering uh, with grief and anxiety, and she's just trying to get through it the best way she knows how through the power of pink and positivity and dance. So it's kind of a day in the life of her as she goes through all this. But That's beautiful. And I heard, Joe, that they both co-directed this feature. Uh, feature? Uh, sure. Short. You mean? Yeah. That is so exciting. And now let me ask you, as two amazing co-directors, you two seem to get along fantastic. There's some magic between it. I love it. You can tell the respect you two have for each other. How was that process, co-directing with somebody? Shockingly easy. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we, we've been married for a long time now, so we do have we do have a shorthand. But it yeah. explains a good energy. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. But yeah, like every, everything she talked about, I already knew what she needed. We kind of, yeah, we knew exactly what the shot was going to look like before it ever happened. So... Uh, it was very simple working together, and uh, we did this together during the lockdown, so uh, we didn't really have a whole lot of options to get crew or extra gear or anything, so we kind of just took our, uh, our uh, what we had available to us at the time, and we just ran with it, and we shot it over the course of two days in our apartment, on our roof, sort of around the block, um, and one of the best things about that was our neighbor, who's a little bit older, he remembers um, seeing us in the alley, and he was like, oh, I saw you dancing in the alley, it gave me some hope, so it was, it was just a great time. That must have been an incredible feeling. Now, I'm excited to learn more about the two of you. Did you two meet over the arts, or did you guys kind of find the arts once you were already together? We did, actually. I mean, technically, yes. We met at NYU. Um, Mikey was my RA. Okay. Scandalous, scandalous. <laughs> but that's how we it was all about board. You know? yeah. We both love movies. We both grew up with movies, like, in our household, and this is just something we always knew we wanted to do, and that's kind of yeah, and, and she went to school for acting, I went to school for filmmaking, so it was kind of just a natural pair as we, as we came along. How does it get better than that when you talk about community building? What better way to build a community? Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. question. What made you go from acting to directing? Was that always a passion of yours? Um, not really, actually. I was never really a confident director, but we were always told in acting school that you should make your own work, and honestly, I think it's made me even a better actor because you just kind of realize what it takes to make the whole project and not just like your one small part. So it's it's been really exciting and I love editing and like I did the costumes and the makeup and everything. So it's just like a fun thing that we get to do together and really been a passion now. Yeah. When you create a project like that, something out of passion, and now it ends up coming out at an amazing festival like this in Manhattan, beautiful Regal Cinemas. I mean, what a place to debut your film. Oh yeah, this this the the last film we saw here was Godzilla minus one, so it does feel like <laughs> it does feel like a nice. I feel like we're in good company. I mean, we couldn't be more excited. This Very thrilled. So you two are in amazing company. Not only phenomenal filmmakers, but the energy you two give oh, yes. off are just people you want to be around. There's so many young filmmakers that can aspire to be like you two. Collaboration with somebody, finding a partner like that in life. Everything you two represent is what the Katra Edx series is really about. Yeah. One more question, actually, about yeah. this dancing thing and not not needing. Do you storyboard this? It was just because you guys, as the dancers, you go to dance class all the time, <laughs> and there was kind of in the blood. And um, well, we did not storyboard, but since we shot it in our apartment, I literally would just stand here, just stand there, and be like, and then this is what I want this shot to look like, or this with this kind of lighting. And I mean, it took a little bit of choreography because with the camera, we have some shots that are kind of 
moving around so you want to make sure you're not like tripping over anybody and that was just right. the hardest part actually was to make it feel seamless just the two of yeah. us you know yeah. so and as a non-dancer dancing around with a gimbal um <laughs> while you're watching a tiny little thing and you're trying not to fall over uh you know i feel like a dancer is a result of this so you know <laughs> I don't think any filmmaker out there can relate 100% yeah. to what you're talking about. I <laughs> love it, really. Person. I cannot wait to watch this film. Okay. I'm very excited. Please, we want to be able to showcase you guys as much as possible. Any social media people yeah. can follow the film or you two on that we can look up? Yes, we each have our own personal Instagram. Mine is Michelle D. Bedome and uh, Mine is Mikey Dominguez Bedome. And then we have our Eminem DB film. I yes, M A N D B by L M S. So, yeah. okay. um, and the, actually, the best way though her name is Michelle, it is spelled M I C H E L. So if you're trying to find her and you don't see Michelle Dominguez Bedome, it's it looks like French Michael. So. French Michael. <laughs> yeah, yeah, heard it right, brother. Right. Guys, thank you so much to both of you. Really, two phenomenal people. Make sure to look them up on their socials right. and get down here to 129 Delancey and be a part of this fantastic festival because it comes around once a year and everybody's going to love it. Thank you two so much for coming on board. We cannot wait again, really, to come back to your film. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.